What is going on, guys? Ryan Baggett here with ChatGPT Builder, and we are live late night learning today, baby. I've got a good, good one for you. Let's turn this music down a little bit. Um, we're gonna get straight to it. You're going to learn today the top three things to look for when you're scoping out your next client to sell your chatbot or AI automation system to. And we're gonna go through this pretty quickly, but you're gonna get a lot of value out of this in the first few minutes, I can guarantee it. So there's three things that you got to look for if you are looking to sell um, today's automation, AI or chatbots today to small, medium, or even enterprise size businesses. Those things that you're gonna look for are gonna look like this. Do they have a chatbot on their website already? <laughs> Hello, this is number one. One of the best ways to identify potential clients to sell, to sell chatbots to are businesses out there who have invested in a website, yet they don't have a chatbot waiting to help their customers get what they need. So number one thing to look for, obviously, should be does the business in question have a chatbot on their homepage of their website? The second thing that you can look for, now this is going to be um, a big clue. You've got a huge opportunity, not only to help um, your bottom line by selling the, the AI, you're going to have the ability to really help the business in ways that they've likely never seen before. So in the social media world, where I've spent a lot of my time, the inbox isn't usually that much fun to play in as a um, busy community manager in an agency, for example. If you've got a lot of um, inbox messages to deal with, this is very time consuming. And sometimes it really takes some um, thinking power to get through uh, the conversation, right? And it's a waiting game. Automation takes care of this at scale, baby. There's nothing better than a well-trained chatbot to assist guest inquiries um, through Facebook Messenger or Instagram or your website where um, your navigation just isn't doing it for that customer or let's face it, they're just, they're just lazy. So um, if the DMs, if the inbox, the money box, as I like to call it, isn't already automated, this is another and number two, a huge opportunity. Number three here, um, this has been a total game changer this year, specifically 2023 phone system automation. So you're probably familiar uh, with the uh, typical touch tone uh, scenario that you're going to go through. Press one to pay your bill, press two to complain about your bill, press three to um, create an account so you can get a bill, right? This is the sort of automation that um, we're probably all used to. Now, at this point, there are some of the larger enterprise businesses taking the natural language approach to this. So for example, if you call your local um, pharmacy, for example, you may have, if it's a giant one, like a CVS, for example, you may have a um, series of natural sounding language coming from the automation there saying to instead of just press one, two or three, um, you could uh, have the AI or the automated attendant say, if you need a refill, just say you need a refill. And it's going to essentially pick up on either a, a keyword that the caller is using or B, the intent behind the actual um, call itself. So um, that's an interesting way to look about it. This is essentially maybe Gen 2, but now we've got chat GPT and this is a game changer. So um, I'm gonna go and show you now how easy it is to actually train. I say this with quotation marks because if you really wanna get um, technical with the language there, um, you could argue that this is more or less um, providing the best reference but at the same time, you have to um, at least look at this being actual training because if I can get the actual AI to do what I want it to do and not do something that I don't want it to do, I would have to say that this is pretty trained. Um, I, I believe that's the definition. Uh, although there are more ways to do this, obviously, um, but we're gonna get into it and I'm gonna show you one of the things that has um, been one of the biggest questions that we've got from our paid subscribers. Um, what's the difference in the um, integrated OpenAI default reply and the default reply in the flow builder. So I'm gonna go over that too. But let's go ahead and um, get started here. So what do we've got? Let's pop over here. I've got a little presentation for you. Let's hide this um, 
subtext here. So again, in 2023, if you're a digital marketing agency or a social media agency, you've got to consider adding the service of selling, customizing, and installing chatbots um, for your clients. This is a, a very, very uh, powerful thing to offer, and it's going to deliver quantifiable results consistently. That is the whole key. Job security, baby. Um, let's go ahead and jump in to our browser here. Let's see if I can X out of here. And let's get right to building, guys. So to make things fair, as always, I'm going to go ahead and start off with a brand new account. Um, let's choose web chat. And I had the idea, um, you know, I'm in Hilton, I'm in Hilton Head, um, but from Savannah. So I decided, let's check on the dentist offices that are listed. Number one on Google, which is the generic Google search. So I can see the dentist office in Savannah that's ranked number one, at least on my search here. I'm going to click and I've got the website pulled up. So watch how easy this is going to be to train ChatGPT to, Chat GPT to do what I wanted to do. All I'm going to do is highlight all of the text. I'm going to um, highlight some at the top. Come on down and I'm going to hit them right there. Hold down shift and click the very end where I want it to stop. Um, I'm going to do command C. I'm going to open up chat GPT and I'm just going to say um, format this info into a knowledge base. All right. So what this is going to do is going to take out all the junk words that I don't necessarily need the chat bot to know because there's going to be probably a lot of a, a lot of repetition. Um, we need this to be organized as best as we can prepare it so that the open AI response is going to be fast and it's going to know quickly what we need to extract or provide. So as you can see, guys, this fast, I just literally copied and pasted the home page here, format it into a knowledge base, and it's busting out everything pretty daggone perfectly, right? I don't need the copyright stuff uh, or the website sections necessarily. Um, I don't have the link because it couldn't read the link. It was just the plain text. Um, I think this is all good here. So do we have the address? as well. Great. So we have all that information. So let's copy this. We're going to, um, let's see what was the name of this place again? Stunningly beautiful dentistry. Is that the name? No. Um, smiles designs by Dr. Karen. Here we go. We'll just call it smiles design. So I've got the title here. Now we've got a web chat with a title. Awesome. Now let's go back and grab all this info here so we provide let's turn this obnoxious music down just here <laughs> so we provide an instant access into instant integration with open ai so you don't even have to get your own key anymore you've got two options and i'm going to throw this on the screen because i'm definitely going to make this a um, video all on its own so bear with me here because um this is going to be worth it at least to me let's throw this on the screen if i can show it Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go over, over, the, let's try this again. In this video, we're gonna go over our OpenAI integrated default reply versus the advanced default reply in the flow builder. All right, cool. So I'll use that as an intro and let's get to it. So let's go to our settings section here and we're gonna go to integrations before you had to go and create your own OpenAI account um, and get the API key and um, add your credit card there. This was like slowing a lot of people down. And um, I saw this through the feedback in our own web chat. And so I said, we've got to do better and um, help these people experience AI the way it needs to be. We've already got the default reply checked on here. So let's click edit and we can see the default information that we provide. You can just delete that sucker, then command V. And now we've got all this information here, right? So business name, smiles by design, location, blah, blah, blah. All the information, business info. We have the best model for you selected that we take care of the cost on. 
This is the newest GPT 3.5 Turbo model, the 16K model. So you have a ton of text. I just, I just copied and pasted that entire um, homepage, which was, um, I believe, a little bit longer than general. And um, we've got plenty of text to go. Now, here is where we get a little bit, um, we've got to get thoughtful. So we've got all the information from the website condensed down nicely. Um, let's give some example conversations. Okay, so um, the way that OpenAI has instructed us essentially to do this is to lay it out like this. So we've got the queue for the um, user's question. Where are you located? All right, and then you have the A colon for the answer. Um, and here's their address here. And so let's provide a friendly um, response. Thanks so much for your interest. We are located. And then I've got the address. So at, and then I've pasted in the address now. So that's a positive desired response um, from the bot to a question like that. Here's where it gets tricky or not tricky, but you've got to be mindful. And this is where further and future training will be um, necessary for you to have the best chatbot possible. So let's ask um, who won the Super Bowl um, last year? A. And so let's get that business information again. And I'll say, um, great question, but um, our policy is to only have conversations about and related to boom we don't need the colon there smiles by designs okay so then let's just throw another one in there i'm going to say who is elvis and then again i'm not even going to acknowledge i'm going to say sorry i have only been trained on um bam info related to smile designs by dr karen cooper okay cool so this is all i'm going to use for now i'm going to um, format that a little bit better because i'm uh, ocd about that kind of thing and make that a little bit nicer we've got the hours let's give a little space here i'm just like you definitely don't have to do this um it's going to be read essentially the same by the computer additional information for me this is just how i like to do it it makes it easier for me to read when I need to come back and then make some adjustments. All right, cool, cool. We got the key values. That will be good. I'll show you guys that we can um, extract that as a customer later on. But this is this is good. All right. So the temperature, because I'll get that I'll get that question quite a bit. This is essentially the quote randomness or quote creativeness. This has been um, defined multiple times in different um, time points in time. In general, keep it where it is. Like two is great, I think. One and two, um, the, it's not going to be boring, guys. It's just going to follow your instructions very closely. Basically, if you're bad at prompting, you're going to want to turn that thing up to like five, six. After you get to like seven, it's just basically not going to listen to any of your instructions. At least um, what I've seen so far and what's been reported back, the higher you go, the less likely it's going to um, listen to your instructions. But check it out, guys. Like we've just created one of the most powerful faq bots imaginable like you could not do this um before open ai really existed with their api you could not make a chat bot this good um and definitely not this fast so how do we test it super easy we're going to go to general and um we're going to assume channels and we're going to go to web chat because that's the only thing that we've connected to yet click manage and this is where we've got two different um, options here. This is a, another big question. We've got the option to get the link by default, which is a full page experience that can be um, iframed or embedded anywhere that you want into your application that's on the app store, into your website, um, into a container, anywhere you want. Or you can generate code. And this is going to, um, instead of be a full page experience or a customizable, sizable experience, this is going to be a web chat specific scenario. Now, keep in mind, we do also have the ability to have you utilize the Facebook provided web chat plugin, which is excellent. This is what we use on our website, but um, we can't use that on this account because we've not connected to a Facebook business page. 
So that option is not available yet. Anyways, let's choose the regular link. Um, we've got the page name here. Let's just make it um, larger because um, that's like her whole um, business name, I guess. We have a welcome message built in already. So essentially, that's just going to say, welcome to page name. How can we help you? And what was her website color? So it's this um, tannish color here. So let's choose a color that might look okay. This is not my strong um, suit. I think we can make it something like maybe something like this. Uh, maybe something like that. Okay, cool. And hide the header. No, let's show the header. So I think we're okay. So we can copy this link and we can paste it here. And this is a full page experience. Of, of, uh, you know, this is a um, full screen chat experience. So it's going to be full screen on any device. We got a little spacing problem there, but that's just um, solved by clicking the space bar. So I'll say, um, where are, oops, <laughs> where are you located? And so we should get an answer pretty quickly. Boom, baby, that is fast. Y'all see this, we're live. So thanks so much for your interest. We're located at, there's the address. I'm gonna say, um, what services do you offer? Okay, so then it's going to extract the services that we provided. Boom, baby, just like that. Um, at Smile Designs by Karen Cooper, we offer blah, 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 blah. All right, cool. So let's make a quick adjustment here in our prompt before we ask another question. Let's go back into settings, integrations. Now, again, this is the basic way to create your, um, your default reply using the power of OpenAI. We've got this turned on. So this is um, the highest priority. Let's click edit and let's go ahead and say um you are the friendly assistant um uh, let's say chatbot for and here's the uh, business name your goal is to provide friendly answers to all questions include at least one relevant silly uh, emoji with every response all right so now we've given it a new instruction it's going to now respond with an emoji every single time um, as long as it makes sense we'll hit continue and um, we should be good to go so let's continue back and say um actually let's let's make sure we also say um how long we want the response to be your response should only be one to two lines max to um keep it short and let's say always ask if there is anything else you can assist with in a friendly way Right. So this is the basic instructions. And this is exactly what you would tell your employee, your real life um, human employee. So we can go back here and test it. And I'm going to say um, when uh, what are your hours? All right. So here we go. We should get a pretty quick response back. Boom. So look at that. So do you see the difference here? We just got um, a much more concise feeling uh, a, a much more concise answer a much better answer in my opinion let's ask the same question that i asked now keep in mind here we are remembering the conversation so um we'll get pretty much probably a similar answer but it should be look at that look at that y'all i tell you what that whenever you just see things work in real time it just feels so good with just that one baby adjustment do you see we, when we said you know respond only in one to two lines max we get this beautiful little answer versus this you know huge thing now in some cases if you're doing troubleshooting this might be exactly what you want a step-by-step -step, prolonged answer very long answer keep in mind our chatbots work everywhere unlike other platforms out there um, our chatbots work on pretty much every channel in existence as well as your phone um, system so your phone calls could be powered by trained chat gpt so let's say um who is the president currently 
right? So this is a question that someone might ask if they're trying to trick your chat bot. And so, um, boom, that's what I'm talking about, baby, is saying, great, great question, but our policy is to only have conversations about and related to the business. Take the mic and just drop it because this is how you do it. All right, let's blow your mind with another fun feature that I've not shown yet. Um, so again, we're not making any changes here, but what we will do is we'll grab the URL here. And this is how you make all the money, guys. You've already qualified your client because it meant one of the three things we're looking for. Um, does it have a website chatbot? In this case, this website does not. So we are going to fix that, uh, at least show them that we can fix that and not with um, you know promises that'll be made and met in six months. Like we, we've got the solution. We've already built it for you dentist office what we did because i didn't say it out loud we went to our tools section here guys i'm sorry i'm just having fun um while everyone else is sleeping your boy ryan is over here is making like the course of all courses here in like such a fast way shut up and keep going ryan here we go bot simulator is what we want you scroll all the way down bot simulator and we're gonna click um in here where you get your website link just paste in the client's website and you can click more options and choose some fun things here. Let's choose the welcome message that we just already provide. And I remember we liked a different color, something like maybe this. Click OK and we can get the link. We can send this link to the client and what will happen? We can now see their website with our chat bubble right here. Smile Designs. And it's um, remembering the conversation that I've had here already because of um, the cookies, the way we've got that set up. So we're trying our best, even though this is on web chat, which, the, which is no um, social media login, no social connection. So um, all the people that um, you might not get as easily because of the Facebook login restrictions or Facebook Instagram requirement. With web chat, we made it so you don't have to worry about anyone um, not having social media. Where I live on Hilton Head, we have a lot of um, uh, older population here that um, they claim at least to not have Facebook, although I know they do. They just want to claim, um, sorry, you don't have Facebook. We can't use your the deal here for the whatever client is around town using, um, say, QR codes, for example, which I'll go over. The web chat solves that um, that beef there because now anyone that has a mobile device is able to, to um, communicate. And if that fails, you still have SMS. But here you go. This is not a, a client of ours, although I'm sure if they click this link and ask a question like, what is your phone number? Because I'm too lazy to scroll down and check it myself. <laughs> Bam, there's the phone number. Um, let's see. Here are some more services. So we can just like test some more things here. Um, I'll say, what are your um, main services? And so it should give us this answer right here. I mean, this is the home page. So we'll see, bam, dental implants. Boom, look at that, guys. Dental implants, full mouth reconstruction, cosmetic dentistry. Do y'all see how awesome this is? Like, just take the mic and drop it, like I said. Um, anyway, so this is a very, very powerful feature, the bot simulator, to show a client, a potential client, this is how your website should operate. Let me go ahead and provide some value up front. Click this link. If this chat bot that I built for your website doesn't blow your mind, don't call me back. <laughs> They're going to call you back. I can promise you. Um, okay, cool. So let's get out of there. And we can also leave here too. Let's go back. Um, and now I'm going to show you how you can use the advanced method to trigger the default reply and then add more value and charge more dollars for your chatbot or extract more value out of your um, usage of the tool um, just by default. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to our integrations. We're going to go here where we've got our um, default reply created. We'll click edit, and I'm just going to grab control, uh, command A, command C if you're on a Mac. So highlight all of the text, and then copy it. 2,000 characters there, so I've got plenty of room. I've got it on my clipboard, and I'm going to turn off the default reply here. Save. This is an entirely separate entity from what I'm about to show you next. We've only had this integration this year. Um, so this is something to keep in mind. This is brand new um, for the most part. Typically, the default reply 
has always been set in the settings section in the general tab, your first option here, default reply. There's nothing selected because we don't need anything. We've been relying on OpenAI's integration. So we're going to change that and we're going to create a new flow and we're going to um, set it right there in that drop down section here. Let's click add and we'll click or type advanced um, default reply. All right, cool. So very, very easy, guys. We're going to click this block here. The working pane will open. Add content. And we are going to click actions. We're going to click open AI. And we're going to click the action itself. Now I'm going to explain what we're doing here. A default reply or a fallback is essentially someone has sent a message to you on your website chatbot, on your Facebook page, or on your Instagram page, on Telegram, um, or your business uh, number if you receive text messages there. If you don't, you should. Or even phone calls. Any message or question that is sent to your bot, your chatbot here, you can tell OpenAI how to respond based on your business information and your instructions or your prompt. And so based on what you say and based on what your customer is asking of your business or of your chatbot, what we do in the back end here is combine the two, the user input plus your instruction and business information, and we send it to OpenAI. And OpenAI does its magic, and it is magic, y'all. So um, it'll essentially create the perfect answer. So we told a OpenAI what to do. OpenAI did the thing. And so now we've got to save that information somewhere. And that's being saved right here in a custom field. So let's, let's go ahead and, and do this. But first, let's look at all the options we've got because it's just fun. Not only can you generate text with ChatGPT Builder, you can also generate images. You can convert speech to text and you can, um, this is a necessary thing, delete the message history in case you're um, making adjustments and need a clean slate to test your bot. So business information, we can delete the little default text there and can uh, command V and we just pasted basically this, the exact same thing um, as we've had before. Now we don't necessarily need this information at the top anymore. So I'm going to um, cut that command X. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that here. It doesn't make too much of a difference, but um, this is just it works a little bit smoother if you do it like this. And it makes a little bit more sense um, in this scenario. Business information. Here's what we want the chatbot to do. And there's one additional thing that we want. And so where it says you are the friendly chatbot, uh, include this, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to add one thing up at the top. I'm going to say, um, or actually let's add it at the bottom. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say, um, your ultimate goal is to always provide the best response to, um, any question from customers the question let's say um question to respond to now is colon and what we want to do is we're going to hit the curly bracket which is the um the key next to the P, just hit shift and it's next to the P, depending on if you're on, uh, you know, basically uh, one of the most common keyboards. I forget the name of the keyboard here, but um, there's a curly bracket, which opens up the custom fields. If you can't find that, that's OK. I'm, I'm visual guy, too. You're going to click here on this icon. This opens up all your custom fields. And the one that we're looking for in this case is the last text input. So this is just going to reinforce to chat GPT and to open AI what we really need in this specific scenario, which is a fallback default reply. We've got the business information here that the chatbot can extract from. We're taking the user's input, which is right here. So they've asked the question automatically in our system that is saved into this custom field for you to reference. You can reference it right here. And what I've found is um, depending on uh, the actual text, things are kind of weighted differently. Sometimes I feel like um, you get a better answer if this information would be at the top of this block 
Other times I've gotten, I feel like better results if it's at the bottom. So in this case, we'll just try it out here at the bottom. So we've got all the business information here that we just basically copied and pasted from their website's homepage. And then we included some magic sauce right here. Example conversations of um, something we're looking for and the perfect answer. And then um, some bad questions that, uh, you know, we don't necessarily want to deal with or talk back and forth with. This is how you solve that. All right, so then we've got the instruction here. All right, so last thing we're doing in this window, um, aside from choosing to be one to remember the conversation or not, in general, the answer is just, yeah, go ahead and remember it. Um, we need to save that response that OpenAI has just generated. So we're going to click Add New. We're going to create the new custom field. And the one that I like to do is something like, um, we'll call it AI-Output. So this is... Um, AI output. This is what OpenAI has generated for us. So let's continue. So now what is going to be generated is going to be saved here in AI output. Makes sense so far. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do to make this work, um, again, this is not so difficult. We're just adding a couple extra steps. We've, um, this is basically the only thing you've got to do in the settings and integrations side. If you want to go basic, but for those of you that do want to, or need to go advanced, you just got a couple more steps. So you got here's step one done. Next, add content and choose text. And all you're going to do is so easy. You'll click on this um, custom field icon or hit the curly bracket. Curly bracket. Um, what was the is AI output? That is what we're looking for. Okay, so AI output is what we're saving the open AI response in based on this information and what the prior message was from the customer or the guest. They're Gener open ai is generating the perfect response based on all this it's getting saved right here so the last step and the thing that people miss most and i've got to think of maybe a better way to combine the two um uh, so it's even simpler although i've not seen a better easier way yet i don't think there will be um we want to be the first so if you've got ideas on this let let me know anyone that's asked and we're very receptive to feedback so um we've got this saved now we've got it displayed all right, so we can test this by hitting publish, hitting back, settings, and here, general default reply, advanced default reply, save. So now we can um, test again by going to channels, web chat, manage, and we can get the link. Let's just do that. We'll choose, here's the bulk of me message, copy, so now we've got the full page URL on our clipboard that we just pasted here and we'll get a simple welcome message. And I'll say, um, uh, where are you located and what are your hours? So that's two questions. Keep in mind, even just a couple months ago, this would have been a lot more difficult to have answered. Um, in general, You'd have to think about it, the conversational design really well to accommodate for the correct answer in the case you've got a question or a message with two questions in it, you know. Um, thanks for reaching out. We're located. At, here's the address and here's the business hours. Beautiful. And do you see we've got that emoji because we included that in our prompt. If I go back here to flows and I go to advanced default reply and I click here to edit what we just made. I'm going to add a new instruction and I'm going to say never include an emoji. So where did I have that at? I think I put it here. Let's see. Include at least one relevant emoji with every response. And I'm going to say now never include any emojis. never include any emojis just to show you how you can do this all right so never include any emojis i'm going to like make this on its own line so i can reference it later if i ever need to never include any emojis so this is very clear we shouldn't see any more emojis and let's hit save or continue now the other reason you're gonna want to consider using the advanced method here is um and this is going to answer a question that uh, i believe one of our friends in australia has asked us like uh, for a couple days now i've just been so busy 
Um, we haven't been getting around to the videos that we've got on our list. We've got a big list and we're getting more feedback all the time and we love it. And um, we're going to knock out every single one of them. We don't miss goals here, but um, we are, we're getting backed up. So keep them coming, but be thoughtful. Uh, we can't make all the things we want to make the best things. So users send a message where you located. OpenAI picks that up, searches your um, prompt information that you've got here and then generates the best answer, which you display here. Well, what if we want to go ahead and add another option to make things um, very easy? Let's say um, new, new customer. Okay, so new customer. This is going to be a button that appears and that disappears if clicked called a quick reply. I just clicked on the quick reply and I've got one made here that's got new customer. You've got some options that you could click up front on this window, but I like to connect the blocks. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit this plus sign, which I'll go over quickly here. This is your more options um, icon here that will allow you to create a new message block, open a new flow that's already been pre-built, which is what we're going to do. Open an action block, a condition block, an email block. So you can send an email right from the flow builder. You can use our split traffic tool, meaning um, you've got different offers and you want to save that glamorous offer for, so maybe you want only 10% chance someone could win that. You can totally control that. This is another big one that I get a lot of questions on, the wait feature. So you want to send a message, but before you send another response, you want to wait a minute or 10 seconds or you know um, maybe 10 hours, whatever you want. You can build landing pages in the, on the uh, flow builder here. Um, even multiple landing pages here, as well as add some notes for yourself if you're like me and you're forgetful at times or for your team. But in this case, we're going to start another flow. And along with the welcome message, before we wrap this up, we also include a flow that will collect data for you and store it in your system. Um, so that flow is going to be called collect contact data. So in the case that someone is going to send a message to my page now, to my website chatbot, um, the chatbot is going to return a perfect answer. And then it's also going to, let's, let's add a, an emoji here. Let's, um, so we make it like very prominent. Cool. So now we've got a button here called new customer that we're going to connect to this block, which is, um, connected to collect contact data and we'll say um get data we'll just rename this block to help keep us um honest here keep us um in check and this will be um default reply so now we've got our um, blocks a little bit better organized and pro tip here guys although you can have this canvas look like a big bowl of southern spaghetti <laughs> everywhere I would not recommend you do that because it's just harder to control. And if something is broken or it needs to be adjusted, sometimes it's harder to find. Um, if it ever does get wonky, you can choose to click the magic wand here and it's going to um, make it into a nice order. But now we can hit publish and we can make sure our default reply is rocking and rolling. And because that um, tool I, saw, I showed you earlier is just so awesome, our bot simulator. Let's go back there. I just grabbed the URL from the um, potential client website, right? We'll paste in that URL. Let's click more options. Let's choose the welcome message and let's change that color to something like this. It's okay there. Get the link. Try not to smile. <laughs> and bam. So here we go. We've got the chat bot chat widget right there. Welcome to Smile Designs. How can we help? And I'll just say, um, why should I switch my dentist and become a customer of, oh my gosh, <laughs> of yours? We'll just leave it misspelled at this point. This mic gets in my way and it gets in my head. Why should I switch my dentist and become a customer of yours? All right, so here's the cell. Y'all ready for this? Thank you for considering the smile designs by Dr. Karen. Thank you for that. That's just, we pride ourselves on providing the superior cosmetic dental work. 
Our team is dedicated to creating gorgeous custom-made smiles that last a lifetime. Well, I'll tell you what, that's awesome. So then we've got, what do you know? Our new customer button here. So maybe this really helps me because before I asked that question, I didn't know what I was going to ask next. But now they've been so thoughtful, they're giving me an easy route to take the next step. And in this case, if I'm a new customer and I want to become their uh, customer, I click this button and then what happens? Boom. Please confirm your first and last name. So Ryan Baggett. Ryan the bot man Baggett, baby. Thank you. What's your email address? So I'm just going to say one, two, three. But the system, the chat is going to say, eh, eh, eh. We need the email address, the real one. This says what you've entered is not valid. So I'll give them the real one. Ryan at chat, GPT, builder.io. The client, the potential clients will be blown away that you've you know taken the time to build such a sophisticated buy. But as you can see, if I wasn't jibber jabbering, this would only take like three minutes, but then I'd have a bunch of questions that um could have been answered. So what's our, my smartphone number? Let's put that in there. And yes, we do have text message um, built right in. And so do you have experience building chatbots? So this is for a dentist office. So this question does not work. So this means, hello, check your templates before you deploy. What made you decide you want to try chat GPT builder? I heard it was the best and it is Bing. All right. Thanks. Visit our website, right? So you've got all these different things that you could do. So before I end, I can't, I can't let you go out like that. Let's go ahead and show you how you can change those questions. So again, remember, this is a brand new account. It's not even, you know, 20 minutes old. Um, we already have three flows built for you. Keep in mind, we've got a sweet template section here um, that you can get all free templates and you can connect with other chat GPT builder builders and um, trade or purchase their templates, which there's um, a guy, Gary, out there who has just been crushing the template game. I've, I've actually got one of his templates installed on here. I need to give him the proper credit. Uh, but he's just um, he's got a like gigantic store at this point. Um, but here we go. Collect the contact data. Here is the flow. Just don't let this don't let this intimidate you. This is um, the same thing as your typical form building software, except way better, way easier and faster to use. It just might look intimidating, but I promise you it's not. Uh, I've got some little directions here if you need some additional help. But if you click on the first block and I've got them named for you, collect the contact details so we can see please confirm your first and last name when we click edit we can see the reply type is going to be text we've got a lot of different options here and our response is being saved into a custom field a system field that's just already provided you don't have to do anything here except select it so full name if you want to allow them to skip you have that option or you can delete that skip option now they will be forced to give you that first and last name. This is something that I've seen people trip, uh, trip people up. Instead of using the get user data element, they're using the text element because they look very, very similar. Okay. But the big difference here is underneath the edit button, you'll see it says here awaiting the user reply. So this means that the bot will not move forward until the question has been answered unless they haven't done the thing that you want them to do. And so in that instance, you've asked them for the name. It's been a couple seconds and nothing has happened. We have the ability to let you auto skip to the next question. So we could say after five seconds, we'll say, all right, buddy, cool. No problem. Let's just have you go on to the next question. And so here we go. We've got the skipped option here. This is not going to show to the user. This is just going to say, if you want to tag this person, didn't give, um, did not give first name, right? So like he was like snoozing or something. Um, we would be able to know that in the system and we can go find out their stuff later or have another flow be sent to them at another time um, during this session or another session maybe. Um, but all you guys, all you have to do is click on the block guys and then choose what questions that you want to modify. And so in this case, it was, do you have any experience building chatbots? And so here we could say, um, do you already have a dentist? Do you already 
um, have a family dentist. Okay, so let's click edit because we're going to make this question our own. It's going to be a multiple choice, but it's not going to be anything related to do you have experience like I've got just set up. So instead, we'll save the response to a custom field. It'll be a new one. Um, have a dentist um, already. This is going to be what I'll have the custom field um, named. And this is going to be how the data is stored. And then once it is stored, it can be sent to any place that you have access to Google Sheets, um, any API, any CRM that um, has the ability to accept information. You can send that there um, through HTTP external request or Zapier or Make or um, Paply. So do you have a dentist already? Yes, no. You could allow for them to add text or to choose multiple options but in this case that doesn't make any sense so we'll just leave it as as is my mac is going to die here in a second am i not charged good oh my charge is going out the wall all right so um i think that's good we'll get out of there and we don't need this question and we can leave the done but let's add a little gif let's see if we can find a good dentist gif <laughs> um let's do let's do let's do this one no it says what are you talking about it's too much let's you know, let's say happy add that in there <laughs> okay this is gonna make me laugh um hope it makes you laugh too it means time for brian to go to bed do you already have a family dentist they're gonna say yes or no and it'll give them this gif and all right cool done thanks for your time so let's publish this guy and preview it web chat and we should get our first message Ryan Daggett oops we um actually had a message already go in there let's restart that we'll let it hit all right cool so what is your first and last name oh so you know I forgot we had I was like holy cow what's going on what we did we have the um we're waiting for those seconds, right? Waiting five seconds and nothing is happening. So let's change that to 15 seconds. Save. All right, cool. Publish. I was like, what the heck? All right, continue here. So now we've got more time to respond. What's your first and last name? Ryan Baggett. Boom, we made it on time so we didn't get skipped. What's your email? Ryan at Baggett's bots. We'll give him a new email this time. It'll update. And the phone number. All right, cool. Now we'll get our unique question here. Do you already have a family dentist? No. All right, cool. There's my little GIF done. Thank you for your time today, Ryan. Now, again, this will work on your Instagram, Facebook Messenger, website chat, um, anywhere that you basically communicate with your customers. And so the question I got today was, um, well, where is that? Where is that data, Ryan? Um, if you go to your contact section here, You've got, I, because I was on the web chat um, URL and the web chat on the um, bot simulator, I've got two contacts in here and I've got two emails here. So um, here is the contact that um, we just made here. So we've got my name, phone number, time, the time of the contact was created. Um, and then we've got, do you have exper uh, experience? This is going to actually be a custom field for um, do you have, what do we call it? Uh, do you have a family dentist? So um, we should have just created a new one versus uh, be lazy, but we could easily say delete and make it ourselves. So do you have a family dentist already? And we could say no, because that's what I said. Just like that, we fixed the issue. Perfect. Um, keep in mind, when you see this orange bar, the bot is active. You're not going to want to type here because you don't want the bot to also talk to the customer. But if I wanted to live chat with this um, customer, I could say, hi, how, um, how are you? Right. Hi, how are you? And then if I go here, I should have um, that message somewhere. Where's my, there we go. Right here. Hi, how are you? Right. Uh, I'll say, great how much are your grills with diamonds 
um because i'm in the market I'm just kidding <laughs> um but let's just see what they say because i think this will be a funny thing um how they handle this smile designs how much are your grills with diamonds do y'all think it'll know and the answer is we'll never know if it knows because why is that because what i did here i turned off the automation so if we turn that back on right and we ask the same question instead of getting nothing we'll get the answer from chat gpt from open ai from our training and i'm sure they don't have anything about that so let's see we offer <laughs> this is such a good answer guys thank you for your interest related to the grills diamond grills from the dentist's office we offer a variety of cosmetic dental services including smile design wow so you know dr karen cooper is about to sell her a twenty-five thousand dollar grill baby all because of the chat but i hope you're winning commission one other thing because i just noticed that this will be a more advanced question that i will get that i'll hopefully um take care of here we already pressed this button uh, we've already given the information so how do we make it to where the customer doesn't see that same button every time i'll show you we can't do this again with the regular um integrated default reply with open ai that we provide the one that you just copy and paste and done so in this case what you would do guys is you would use a condition i told you we'd come back to it condition and this is your starting indicator this is important starting indicator wherever you see this this is where the flow will start and it will always go in operational order so what we'll do is we'll just hover our mouse over this block and choose the play icon here and now the starting indicator is moved so this will be the first part of our flow we are going to check do we have um email on file for whoever this user is so to do that i can just type here email has any value is what we're going to use so let's rename this block is email on file right so is the email on file if yes what we'll do is we'll go to this block here i just duplicated the block and i'm going to remove the quick reply so if the email has value bam they're not going to see this new customer quick reply if we don't have the email on file until we do we'll have this option available every time we hit them with a default reply um to give you another idea of what we can do um we can alert an admin every time or for the first time let's say that someone has sent a message to the page and the bot is responding perfectly but we know that we don't have their email on file maybe we want an internal admin or a uh, you know client internal person to deal with this what we can do is after we've sent them to be collected um you know the collect contact actually let's just show you that way we'll, we'll just like flip the script real quick what we'll do is we'll go to that collect contact data flow and at the end here right this is what we just made we tagged the person completed the new contact survey let's take it a step further and add a new block by just dragging a new line from the continue bubble click add content and actions notify admin you choose the admin you can invite your client to your account or any of your employees if you're running this as an operator you can invite any employee or any team member and control permissions as to what they can do so if you don't want any team member team member or a client ever accessing a flow no problem but if you have them as part of your um team your admin there they'll be able to receive built-in notifications that we provide to make just life easy so in this case, they're going to get through the flow and then Ryan is going to get notified and we can say something like this, um, custom field time, full name, uh, just became a hot lead just like that. And so, um, this is just useful, helpful at times. Um, I use, this as one of my most used features in the whole platform. I'm probably, I'm by far actually the biggest user um by by many times um of the tool which is a good sign of it working baby so we've got our flow here it's perfect let's, let's go check to make sure we can receive that notification as an admin for y'all uh, that are watching here you'll want to ensure you 
to update this for yourself as well as any admins that you bring aboard. Go to your admin section and click manage. And you're gonna choose the three or click the three dots right by your name, click edit. And then here you're gonna have your contact methods able to be selected. So by default, you'll have, you should have your email address if you're the account holder. Um, anytime you wanna receive a notification email, if someone purchases something in the bot or they need your help or um, any notify admin action like we used, it's gonna send me an email here because that's where I have to find it. For your phone number, you'll, if you're in the US, it'll be plus one, eight, four, three, five, five, five. Here's my number. And so now if I choose to turn on, I'll be able to also receive that same email notification text sent directly to my cell phone, which is the way I prefer it. Um, and I can open that text message and immediately respond to the customer right in the inbox. If I've ever talked to you from our inbox, that's exactly what has happened. I've gotten a message that says um, full name, just requested support. Here's their issue. Here's the link to get to the inbox. I click that link and it brings me right over to um, the conversation. And so from there, I can send a funnel if that's all that I need to do to provide the correct answer or the correct um, payoff to you guys. I just send the funnel, boom, no problem, done. Or I'll turn the orange bar off, right? So I got my little robot head there. So that tells me that now I can talk freely with this person here. Um, one thing that would is really cool is if you're connected to other channels um, and you also have the contact information for said channel, like Facebook or Instagram, or in this case, um, phone number here. If I had this brand new account connected to Twilio to our text messaging integration, I would have an option for SMS right here. So instead of the web chat, I would be able to send a one-to-one -one or one-on-one -on -one text message to this user manually, or it could be automated, of course. If you click a message, you're going to be able to see the timestamp, which is a, a great um, thing to, to check out. And um, if you need to assign conversations, you can do that. And again, as long as you've got your contact info set up in that settings window I just showed you, as soon as I assign this conversation to an admin, bam, you're getting a text message and an email. Um, I think that's probably it for now. Um, if you guys have any questions, as always, let me know. Um, and we've got lots of other fun tutorials coming your way soon especially um, one revolving around this text to audio message here this has been something that i've personally wanted for a long time i told everyone um that we would try to get this done as fast as possible i don't want to show you all those accounts there that i'm a part of um, i was going to try to show you that template another time um this is a 11 labs masterpiece where your phone calls or um, any messaging channel that allow for a, a audio to be sent any audio that you can have that you have permission to clone or any audio that's available within 11 labs and there's some amazing audio um, files there it blows me away what you can do with audio with um ai and audio these days um you're talking about the best clarity the best um quote emotionally friendly sounding AI and automation that you can um, you know, think of. It's very, very cool stuff. Anyways, that's all for now, guys. Thank you all so much.